All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel where we are back on the angler competitions for our final week of the first season. Season one, week number eight, the Tournament of Champions is next week. We are qualified for that, but we are here to finish this season strong and see if we can get on top of that podium. That is definitely our goal this week, if not to try to win, obviously, but we are definitely going to be looking for some diamonds. We are here in Norway, and... We are after the bream, which is a night fish, which means I'm a little early on this server, but it is, oh, we got, looks like a roach coming in. It is 17, 18, so I'm going to stick to wait it out here because night fishing, when you wait it out, the nighttime goes so fast, but I'm going to get a full evening right off the bat here once it gets dark, so we'll have to wait for that 1900 and see if that works out, but we do have a roach here, so I might have to grab it. Before I finish all right we we just have a uh, size 7 with a blood worm on it maybe we can get an early bream is kind of what we're shooting for here but we'll take this uh, roach nice gold roach 2.6 pounds right there I've caught quite a few uh, diamond roach out of this spot over here on magic lake whenever I was uh, fishing for bream before and that was with pearl barley only on a, a separate competition with a different group. But I think it's going to be a tough one this week. I'm pretty sure these guys are going to be super tough. Similar to the brown trout, not very many are going to be taken, I don't believe. But we'll find out. Maybe something's changed. But anyway, we are after those bream, and they are that night fish, so we're not going to have a lot of time. We've got to try to work those night servers, try to land on them. And again, that nighttime goes so fast, and it... I wish they would do something with that because there are a lot of night fish people would enjoy fishing, but there's just no time. It flies through the, eve the nighttime too quick. Now, obviously we want to get on that podium, getting that top three. And then there are a couple other awards we can get, which are the Lunker Award, which is for the heaviest um, bream. And then the Dinklage Award, which is for the smallest bronze bream. So we might throw out a small hook. We haven't got either one of those awards yet this um, season so we might give that a try I'm not sure we'll see how it goes for us I like to use a silver size hooking up it's just I just enjoy fishing that way better than catching too many bronze ones so my biggest goal is just to get a diamond if I can just get a diamond of these guys this weekend that's gonna set the whole weekend I'll be happy with that but as usual I want to let everyone know if you want to add to your angler experience the link for this group on Facebook is in the description below so if you have Facebook and you want to get in there and do that PC console doesn't matter come join us have a good time um, next weekend it'll be uh, off because of the tournament and then the weekend after will probably be an off week most likely and then the new season two will start after that all right well we'll put this gold roach away here and we will throw back out right here in front of the uh, waterfall we are going to start here on magic whoop, magic pond is kind of what everybody calls it and we will get right back after it here Maybe we'll get a bream a little earlier than dark, but hope you all enjoy the video. Ah, let's hope for a diamond. Let's get to it. I didn't even see that one. What was that? It kind of flat bodied. Hey, that's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for a little early here. We got a bronze 3.83. We might give this guy a try if that'll work out. I normally don't start with a bronze hook, but their preferred bait is blood worm, and I gotta use that bronze hook for it. So we're just giving it a try here, and we're gonna write down our 3.83. Maybe that will win. I don't know how small they get, so but we gotta write it down and make sure and give us a start. Hey, that might be a, another little bream there. Certainly looks like one. Get him in here. See if he's smaller than what we had. 383? 329. Nice. That is a little bit smaller. We gotta get him. Here we are spending our time looking for Dinklage. <laughs> it's not exactly what I planned, but you know what? Awards award. Well, we might as well go for it. Well, there's another one. That one looks that one might even be smaller. Just about to enter our 3.29. Let's see what this guy is. Ooh. 1.97, I think, uh, I think, 
Whoa, that's a big difference right there. 1.97. Now we're getting down to the bottom of the barrel. That one is tiny, I would assume. Let's go ahead and make sure we get all of our screenshots for this, but now, yeah, that might that might have a chance. Oh, this guy, I <laughs> wouldn't even pay attention. He's a little bit better size here. Here we go. A silver 7.76. Finally, we're moving up. Ah, fun. That's our first non bronze. I had a few bronze here this first evening on here, but 7.76. We will go ahead and write that down because that is at least a baseline for us. Now, let's get a couple more. That one, I, I still feel like I saw one bigger than that. I know I did. We'll keep trying. Get this guy in. It's got to be at least a silver so we can start our bag. Get well. We can get our second one here. There we go. Come on in, buddy. See here's silver 806. Awesome. Silver. And that is two out of three. That one's potentially better. It looks like it could at least get us another silver. It has to be because of our size five hook. So maybe. We just caught a small five pound silver. Let's see in it. Definitely wasn't this big. Got two silvers right now. We could use a bigger one. I get a feel for them. Feel for their size. That's pretty good. Yeah, 9.44 silver right there. We'll take that. I know that's near gold. I, I well. Yeah, I know there's some golds at 11, so we're getting up there a little bit better. It's a 9.44. That'll make our third one. Now we have a bag of good-sized silvers, anyway. 7.76 is our smallest. 9.44 is our best. On our way up. Hmm. It's a little bigger. A bigger size, anyway. I don't think it's a gold. We're definitely looking at another silver. I don't think he's going to be our biggest. I don't think he's bigger than our nine. Ooh, well. Oh, 988. <laughs> he was bigger. He is. So 944 and 988 silver. Man, these golds are going to be tough. So tough. But that knocks our 776. Our bottom was an eight pounder now. Hey. I mean, somebody coming up right at the dawn. Oh, 8.39 is just slightly better than our 8 pounder. Man, we cannot find a gold. It's going to be a tough weekend. But 8.39 is now our bottom. Hey, a little bit bigger one. Finally. Hey, there we go. 8.78. That's going to move up our 8.39. Boy, we are barely moving. Slowly but surely, I hope. Hey, a little more weight. Are we slowly climbing? Getting my hopes up. Should not do that. Should not do that. A little bigger. Hey, <laughs> man, we're finally all up into the nine, so we can drop our 878 now. And 922. Let's get back out there. We're starting to starting to get into them here. What we got there. Ooh, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
That's a pretty good size one there on a spoon. Let's see what we got. Okay. All right. 9.7. The bream. All right. That's going to knock our 9.22 off. Still sitting in the silver, but we're starting to do something now. I uh, got tired of float fishing, <laughs> and I want to catch stuff a little faster, so we're switching over to the spoon. It means we got to deal with other stuff, but that's all right. We'll be fine. We'll get rid of that 9.22. Here we go. That looks a little better, maybe. Maybe. Oh, yeah. That's all right. 965. Ugh, that's going to knock off our 944. Yeah, we cannot. Cannot get into those golds. But 965 moves us up just a slightly a bit more. This is going to be a long, long climb. Oh, hey, 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 hey. That looked like a good one. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. I was like, all of a sudden it just shot me straight up after I looked. I'm like, that's a big old flat shaped fish. 1081 right there. Awesome, 1081. That's gonna knock off our 965. But well, we're finally on the board with a gold. And you can tell where the flames are flying here. We 1081, finally a gold in the bag. Two more, let's get, uh, that's our gold. Full bag of gold. That's what it needs to be for this species anyway. Awesome. That might be one there. That looks different than the Xander looks when it comes up. It's much, this is much narrow. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Look at that big old boy. That, that's got to be a gold, right? Look at that thing. Yes. All right. Yes. Yes. Holy cow. That's a big gold, too. 1254? My goodness. I'm pretty sure I've seen a diamond posted that was 13 something, so 1254, that's, that's got to be a pretty good size gold, I'd say. Pretty good size. We got a gold 1081, 1254, and now we get to mark off our 972. Our bottom one is a 988 silver. We are finally into them. Oh, I'm going to have to camp out right here because I have struggled at all the known hot spots. And here, at least we're running a spoon now because I just want to be able to catch stuff and make some money, XP. I cannot float fish for these guys too long. It's taking forever, so. Oh well, we are two out of three gold. Must be something heavy because that actually had weight to it. Big pike, maybe. Can tell. Oh, we got oh yeah. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> said maybe a big pike I didn't expect a diamond and my first diamond northern pike here on Norway at that wow comp for the win for sure that's awesome wow wow <laughs> that's exciting I uh, wasn't expecting that we're sitting here running the spoon I didn't even think about a pike at, at this time of night I would just focus on the uh, the uh, bream so wow I'm a little bit shocked it's super late at night I'm half asleep myself so I'm like whoa and that's gorgeous my first diamond northern pike at all so that's that's pretty cool pretty cool made it worth staying up so late that's for sure Oh, 
Whoa! Hey! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sleeping on that. I'm, it, it's not even evening for Bream yet, and I'm just casting out, waiting for it to get to 1900. I'm not even paying attention. <laughs> And the music about scared me out of my chair, so that's pretty cool. Diamond European Perch, our first one ever. Wow, that is awesome. We came away now, no Diamond Bream yet. And we've got our first ever European Perch and Northern Pike. So it has been a very successful weekend. You're not going to be too upset about that for sure. The Bream are just tough. There are Diamonds out there, and we'll keep trying. But hey, we've got a Diamond European perch that is pretty cool I wanted one of these and I haven't been able to get over here and just focus on them so that's pretty cool pretty cool I am back over here by the burning Viking boat if anybody's interested in looking in that area but I'm using a size 5 spoon just kind of trolling around catching some fish making some XP and money and sometimes you luck out big so that's what we definitely did we definitely lucked out big right here that's pretty cool Diamond European Purse. Diamond number two on the weekend. Successful weekend nonetheless, that's for sure. Oh, hey, 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 mister. Uh, we are going to drop some barley right here. That is a very nice looking brain. <laughs> that guy came up and I thought he was a whole different species. That's how big he was. Oh, come on. Come on. Be the same one. That thing looks awesome. There we go. Glad I looked down. Holy cow. He's he's taking his sweet time, isn't he? Oh, come on. We need a gold. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Be a third gold. Ooh, that's big. <laughs> Sorry guys, these things are so hard. So many people aren't even playing because that's how hard they are. And like I said, I did one of CJO's competitions before. I didn't even see a diamond. This thing's at 18.64. I think there is a diamond entered and it's only 13 pounds. Holy cow. Oh, whoa, I have not been this is probably the most happy and excited I've been in this game because of the difficulty level of these guys. This thing is insane. Oh, man. Oh, I can't tell you the amount of relief I just have now just flowing off of me. Oh, my goodness. What a cool inter encounter as well. I'm sitting out here just, I, it's just dark. It's just nighttime. We're over here by the burning ship. Finally, I just caught that perch maybe an hour ago in game and uh, the diamond perch <laughs> and here we go I see this guy right on the boat I just look down I'm like well I'm just gonna throw a, a barley out and boom yeah I thought he was a different species of fish because he was so big when he surfaced holy cow oh man I'm so happy right now I know I've got to take my screenshots and stuff but I don't know what else to say guys I am just <laughs> ecstatic Oh, my whole weekend. I've been fishing quite a bit on it. Oh, it just makes up for it. Three Diamond Weekend, our first one of the Bream, our only one of Bream, and a monster, 1864. It looks like the uh, record, known record, is 20.89, so just a couple pounds away. Whoo, but man, what a huge fish. So happy right here. So happy right here. Oh, man. That is awesome. This is going to help us. We, we will move up into the lunker position but i'm not 100 percent sure if that'll hold up but I, I mean it's five pounds bigger than the other diamond that i've seen so we've got to be pretty excited about that maybe we'll get our first lunker award but nonetheless 
Oh man, we're finally gonna get get on the board with a diamond. So one diamond, two golds, that's an awesome bag for Bream. I am not expecting more than that. I've got more time, there's still more time left, and I'm gonna fish it out, but I know I've been on this for a while, guys. I'm just so happy. <laughs> and thank you for watching and being here with me for this, because that was awesome. That was awesome. Oh, 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 right here. Right here under us. Do this again. And this must be a spot for them. Because I tried to stop short of it this time. And just kind of fish over where I got my diamond. Oh, there he is. <laughs> doing this again oh, that, that looks like a probably that looks hopefully that's a gold all right awesome <laughs> man if you can get them to come around your boat they just want to swim right around the front of the boat I think I saw another one out there yeah 1092 nice that's a little bit bigger than the one we had we had a 10 81 so we'll take this guy and we'll add him to the group i think i saw another one out there so we need to get right back out there but that worked out really well for us when they surface like that just switch the barley and drop it right in it's worked every time we've tried it so we're up a little bit 0.1 pounds we'll take it all right that is where we're gonna end it here on season number one week number eight so the end of season one completely the tournament will be this weekend and we came in at the end and finally finally made it to the top of the podium guys we did it yeah we that last diamond or that diamond was a huge diamond it ended up taking lunker and it ended up having the highest score because the funny story on that is when I switched to the uh, the uh, barley, I wasn't using my big reel, so it was much lighter weight, and it actually gave me a decent score, which I wouldn't have had if I'd have caught it on a spoon. So that gave me high score, lunker, and we took first place at the top, which gave us the fishing legend award, and we were able to follow Kiola up from last week where he was able to get it for the first time ever. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, we are, clock is still slightly changing. Yeah, so we're about to see the fire go out. I think it goes out at 5.30 here in the morning. And it fires up at like 18.30 if I'm not mistaken. 30 minutes before dark. But right here at the Burning Viking ship, that is where we got our diamond out there on the other end of it we also got our diamond perch here and then our diamond uh northern pike was on magic pond so right here is where we are right out here that's where we got our diamond bream out here and our diamond um european perch which i got right before dark i was just kind of waiting it out and we got it and then we got our northern pike right here so i need to put my markers down out here I haven't done that yet so there's not very many people use this location for diamonds but it worked for us this weekend that's for sure taking first place so happy about that we closed the season out we, we made it to the top of the podium and that's pretty pretty special to me that's for sure now on to the tournament this week we'll see how we do with that looking forward to that and what that's all gonna be all about but um, for now we 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 we're on a high this week, so it's pretty nice. As far as the bream go, man, they were tough. All the known diamond locations, and I've caught a lot of bream in some of those spots. I've just barely get some golds. I've never caught a diamond on any of them. I know people have, I've seen it happen. Uh, I've done, like I said, I did the bream competition before for uh, CJOs on his uh, Discord competition one weekend, and I, I didn't even get close to getting a diamond, and I fished hard on it, just like I did this weekend. This was just basically all luck. I got a couple good golds out of here and then they ended up getting another one late. But um, yeah, it was I could not get them to bite. I got so tired of float fishing and waiting. It was just killing me. I was like, I'm just gonna start making money with this spoon and at least get some other fish, money, XP. Gotta do that. And then we ended up popping out or, uh, golds out of there. So that was pretty cool. And then we were using the spoon 
and then I happened to see him surface right there. What an awesome time that was. I literally did think he was a different species of fish because he was so big. I was like, what is that? And then I realized, oh man, that is a, you know, a bream. So we switched real quick and it worked out perfectly. Couldn't ask for better than that. So glad you all were here to see that. That's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. But anyway, we'll look forward to the tournament here and get ready for that this week. But uh, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to stay notified and shoot the like button to help others find the channel. If you didn't, thank you for watching this long. Back to work on my next video. Until then.